Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I just wanted to show off a really cool launcher that I actually just discovered in the Google Play Store. This is called Metro Launcher 10, and what it does is it gives your Android phone or tablet a Windows 10-esque skin. So if I actually go ahead and open this app up, it immediately takes me to the tiled interface that should be very familiar to anyone who's used a Windows device before. I basically just got a number of tiles that represent some of the basic applications on my phone, and if I tap on them, it actually just opens them up directly. Now some of these icons don't do exactly what you'd expect, for instance if I tap the Internet Explorer icon, it actually opens up Google Chrome, which is the only browser on my phone, and since Internet Explorer isn't available in Google Play right now, this is the next best thing. Now if I tap the home button at the bottom, I have the option to go home using either the default Google Now Launcher or Metro Launcher 10. It's really easy to switch back and forth between the two, but since I am showing Metro Launcher 10 in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and select that. Now another feature to this launcher is the down arrow in the bottom left hand corner. If I tap that, it actually takes me to a list of all the apps I have installed on my phone, and I can also sort these apps by name, by date, and by usage, just like I would be able to do on a Windows device. If I actually want to go to an app directly, I can just use the search bar in the top right hand corner and just search for whatever app I'm looking for. For instance, if I want to search for Chrome again, I can just go ahead and type that in and it comes up as the top result. And again, if I tap that, it'll actually open up directly from this launcher. But now let me just quickly go back to the tile interface one more time. The last feature that really makes this feel like a legit launcher is the fact that it actually has the charms menu. So if you swipe from the right, you get the charms menu that shows up just the way it would on a Windows 10 device. You've got the clock, and then you also got the five options that you would get on a Windows phone. Now, not, again, not all of these do what you'd expect. For instance, if I tap the start icon, it just takes me to a list of all apps, since this is just a launcher and not the actual Windows 10 operating system. Some other options you should know about, you can share your screen just by tapping the share icon, and you can share your screen with a bunch of different um, apps and networks. You can share it with Gmail, Google+, Plus, Google Drive, pretty much anything you have pre-installed on your phone. And again, this is very similar to what you'd get on a Windows 10 device. One more thing you should know is the settings icon actually takes you to a specific settings page for the Metro Launcher 10, where you can customize the colors, the themes, and basically the way this launches different apps, so that's definitely something you should know about. But anyways, that's pretty much it to this launcher. It really just does add a Windows 8 skin to your device, and you know, it's not a complete ecosystem by any means, but it's really not meant to be. So let me know what you think of this launcher in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.